We took a road trip to Homosassa to get all these player piano rolls. I knew they would be perfect for my junk journal scrapbook kits and craft kits. It took about an hour and 45 minutes to get there from my house, but it was totally worth it. He took some time showing us about the player piano rolls, how they work, how he repaired some of them, and that he actually made the ones that didn't have boxes. He made boxes for several of them out of cereal boxes and other recycled boxes, which I thought was really cool. I definitely was not prepared for how many there were, and we ended up having to put down all the seats in the back of my car to make room for them. They are going to be awesome for all these kits. After getting the car packed up, we decided to go check out Howard's Flea Market, which was not even 10 minutes from his house. It was packed with cars, so I was kind of excited, thinking, oh, this is maybe we'll find some treasures, but definitely no such luck. We spent about an hour giving it a chance, going up and down the aisles, and there were some interesting things for sure. You know, I love old typewriters. I like old vintage things, so it was cool looking at that, but nothing that I wanted to get for the business. So it, it ended up being a fail of a trip. No vintage maps, no postcards, nothing like that. But on the positive side, I'm glad that we checked it out because you just never know what you're going to find when you go to these type of um, flea markets. So I just know we don't need to go back. Therefore, we walked out to the car, check out this truck, how they pack the mattresses on top of the cab. I don't know. Made me laugh. And we decided, um, I looked it up and I found this restaurant called the Museum Cafe, which was again only 10 minutes from where we were. What caught my eye is that everyone t commented about the Cubans, but even more interesting was that attached to the restaurant is the Old Mill House Gallery and Printing Museum. And what card company owner doesn't want to go check that out? I spent about 10 minutes walking through and looking at all the small printing presses, typewriters, and other artifacts of the past. I should have taken some pictures to make cards, but I just didn't think of it. There was a gentleman playing his guitar at one of the tables. It was a really homey feeling kind of place, like you're going home to your grandparents' house for lunch. There was even a little free library out front. We took the scenic road home, and now to start having fun with all these piano player roles. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.